here with Cedric Lenoir, Senior Business Risk Consultant at FM Global. Welcome. Thank you, Sarah. Um, so, we're here at Amre, obviously, our home of risk management. And I guess my first question is, when you speak to your clients, what are they saying are the biggest risks? What's top of their minds for 2019? Today, clearly, we, uh, we hear a lot talking about cyber risks. Uh -huh. uh, I think uh, a lot of companies have been exposed to some sort of attacks yep. uh, over the last few years. Uh, I think the biggest issue we have with cyber risk is that we, we still don't understand what are the impact that it can have long term. Yep. And uh, as a result of that, uh, most decision makers want to uh, implement, have some sort of prevention measures in place to protect themselves from the impact of cyber risks. Uh, we still hear a lot also about supply chain management yep. or supply chain risks. Uh, obviously, what we're seeing today, especially within the uh, manufacturing environment, is a highly complex supply chains with a lot of uh, interconnections. Yeah. And uh, again, the uh, uh, impact is not always well understood. So, again, decision makers want to uh, make sure that they've got the right uh, continuity measures in place to protect themselves from from unwanted uh, uh, risks. Uh, and, and finally, I would say that um, we still talk a lot, obviously, about catastroph uh, natural catastrophes. Uh, we've seen what's have been, uh, happening over the last two years in the US. Yeah. Um, massive impacts, uh, companies being threatened, and it's got to be managed. So again, yes, natural catastrophe being a big one. Yeah. And with those three in mind, what do you think it is that makes them continue to be so prominent for risk managers? Is it kind of the extent of the damage or reputation? The two, I think, you know, the extent of the damage, especially from a NatCat standpoint. Yeah. You know, you're seeing the uh, extent of, uh, of the severity of the impact. Yeah. You know, we're talking about hundreds of billions of, uh, of dollars or even pounds uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, losses experienced, economic losses. Uh, and what we're seeing today, too, is uh, um, um, IT uh, risks yeah. having um, maybe a very an impact on a, over a short period of time, but having a massive impact on the reputation of the company. And obviously, you know, you talk about market share, uh, you're talking also about the, uh, the impact on the uh, uh, enterprise valuation, so anything to do with the uh, share prices. You know, we're looking at uh, cyber risk, especially, is uh, a risk that can have a massive impact over a very, very short period of time. And so what can risk managers do? What, what are some of the top things they can do to mitigate some of those risks? I would say, you know, you've got the concept of resilience is important. Yep. Uh, you know, making sure that you know you have the solutions in place to to maintain your activity at a, at an acceptable level. Yeah. Uh, and it's all about um, prevention and yeah. uh, continuity. Sure. You know, if you're able to make sure that when an, uh, an event is happening, you've got the right prevention in place to maintain the impact to an acceptable level. Uh, that's one thing, or if unfortunately something is happening, then you've got to think about continuity of activity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarah.